when you, when you meditate. You're trying to get some results, that's for sure. But to get the results, you have to focus on the causes, to learn to focus your desires on the cause. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, keep reminding yourself each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out, you're going to stay right here. Alertness to watch, to make sure that you are staying, and then ardency, trying to do this well. You have to have the desire to do this. As the Buddha said, proper desire is one of the bases for success. You focus your desires on the causes, and the results will have to come. And if they're not coming fast, you have to have some endurance. And you have to learn how to talk to yourself, to remind yourself of why you're doing this. The mind needs to be trained. If its mind isn't trained, it's like an animal that hasn't been trained. It creates all kinds of messes. It creates a lot of hardship for its owners. But once it's trained, again, okay, it's good to have around the house. You can get it to do things that otherwise it wouldn't be able to do. It's the same with the mind. Once it's trained, it has more abilities than you can imagine. The Buddha lists all kinds of psychic powers. We don't need the psychic powers, just the ability to see yourself, to check yourself, to make sure you don't do anything that's going to harm yourself or harm anybody else. That's a good ability to have right there, because otherwise our thoughts take over. Our desires that are not in line with the Dharma take over, and they can cause all kinds of trouble. So you want to have some control over your mind. Don't give in to random thoughts. Because you're doing something good here. And if you're not doing this and you're wandering off, what are you going to gain out of the wandering off? And there might be a little bit of pleasure in the present moment, but that's it. There's no long-lasting value. But the mind that's been well-trained has lasting value. It can deal with all kinds of problems. The untrained mind gets defeated very easily. The trained mind always comes out winning. So remind yourself of why you want to do this. And that'll make it easier to stick with it and to give the results the time they need sometimes in order to grow. Because in some cases when you do something in meditation, the results come right away. You change the breath and there may be a change in the way you feel the body. Other times the changes take time and you have to be willing to sit with them and to continue putting in the, the causes until they're complete and then the results will come. So learn how to give yourself pep talks. Think of the Buddha's instructions. They said that he would instruct, urge, rouse, and encourage his listeners. Four verbs. One is giving information. The other three is giving encouragement. So learn how to give your mind encouragement to stick here, stay right here, to get the best out of being right here. Because there is a lot to be gained. And whether come, the results come quickly or come slowly, the results are going to be good. Always be very clear about that and confident in that fact. The way whatever you set your mind on is going to succeed, because the skills you build as you meditate don't apply only to the meditation. Every project you may take on in life, you have to have the desire, you have to have the persistence, you have to be intent on what you're doing, and you have to be circumspect in what you do. All these bases for success apply both inside and out. So make sure that you develop them. <laughs>